I'm Adil Kumar and in this video we'll try to understand the concept of complement of an event and use this concept to find the probability. So when we say complement of an event it really means that event does not happen right so if we say event does not happen then it becomes complement of an event right so complement of an event so that is what it is so if we are talking about an event a the probability of event a will be equal to 1 minus probability of event not happening right so that is how complement can be taken care of or you can say that probability of event happening and probability of event not happening when you add them up then we should get one right so because in any event either it will happen or it will not happen right so their combination is always one and this formula can be rearranged in different ways you could also write this as probability of an event as equal to 1 minus probability of complementary event right so of not happening so that is the concept so based on this concept we'll solve a question find the probability of rolling two different numbers with two dice two different numbers that means if I have let's say two dice one big one small right so, so we'll just roll so let me make a table first and then let me explain you what I'm trying to do here let's look for two dice okay so let's say we have these two dice right so one big one small now what we get here is two different numbers five and three the question here is find the probability of rolling two different numbers with two dice right so like size we draw right we have two different numbers now there are so many combinations with two different numbers however we have very limited combinations with same numbers correct so we say that probability of an event a where event a is different numbers right we are looking for different numbers how about trying to find the probability complementary to it that is same numbers we could write this as like this right which is a same numbers since getting same numbers is lesser it could be faster for us to find the probability in this case correct so so our outcomes which are favorable are complementary right so what we will do here is just as we have two dice think these are two different dice one big one small and the numbers on them are actually one two three four five and six same numbers right so one two three four five and six so if they roll both roll one correct if they roll one in that case the numbers which we get are one one now these are same numbers if i get one from one die and two from the other these are different numbers do you get an idea right so so all of the numbers in this row will be different correct you can see that in the second row two one is different however two two will be same two three is different so on so we'll see that the diagonal numbers here for example 3 3 and then we'll get 4 4 and then we'll get 5 5 and 6 6 right so these are same numbers now it is easier to find probability of rolling same numbers rather than different numbers so we'll actually find the probability of rolling same numbers so in that case what is the total favorable outcomes number of outcomes for same number so that is the complementary function we're talking about right so that is one two three four five six now in our sample space how many possible outcomes are there six times six right so that is 36 six times six 
Therefore, the probability of rolling same number is 6 over 36 or 1 over 6. Now, using the concept of sum of probability of complementary and, and the probability of the same is 1, we can find what is the probability of rolling different numbers. So, that should be 1 minus probability of rolling same numbers, correct? Or 1 minus 1 over 6 and that is 5 over 6. So, here you see how easily we could actually find the solution of probability of rolling two different numbers by using the complementary complement that is same numbers. So that is the concept which is very helpful in solving many questions based on probability. I hope you understand and appreciate it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.